Xavier Wilson to jump for the Blue Devils. Army has the freshman. Charlie Peterson in the jump circle. The tap is controlled by the Black Knights. They execute their offense and get good looks here in the half court. Banker yeah, and even though, they missed that, even though they missed that shot, it was a good use of the shot clock and a well-developed play. The kids stayed on the board. They lead it 2 to nothing. Nice lob on the inside. King roars in, pitches it out on the arc to Rucker. Jump pass down low, and Peterson has all four for Army. Scandalberry drops it behind his back. Nice pull, but the shot's too strong. Rucker pulls up in rhythm and buries it. You got to make him pay when you leave him wide open like that off of that hard hedge. He was able to slip away and find some space on the wing. He's not going to get a better look all night. Mitchell lets it fly and cans it. Outlaw gets his first touch of the season, gives it up at the top. Miles Baker, who had 17 against UConn off the bench. This is a deep Central Connecticut State team. Down low, trying to toss it up and in. Carrington Wallace. Central Connecticut State, now one of five from downtown. Pocket pass back door. And the feed and the finish. On inside to Christian. Down on the block, one on one. The take. The shot is too long. Christian can't get one to go. He is 0 of 3 from the floor. Pull up from Rucker on Black Friday into the lane for Central Connecticut State. Tough turnaround. Barely clips the rim from Wilson. Yeah, Wilson has to get his shoulders a little more square before he gets that shot off, rushed it a little bit. But that's the kind of look they want. They had some nice screens along the baseline, led to a nice high percentage shot there at the corner. Somehow that pass gets through. Scandalberry hounded out on the arc by Duhart. Gives it up to Wilson, drives. Wallace in traffic, banks it through. Bouncer in the corner. Baker trying to wiggle inside. Misses from close point blank range. King for a three. Drops it in the bucket. Takes it halfway down the lane. Plays it in the corner. Grayson has it out on the arc. Shot clock's been cut in half, approaching 10. Grayson hoists it up. Buries it. Newkirk one-on-one -on -one with Rucker. Wallace squares in the southpaw. Jay is off the mark. Outlaw with the follow. Central Connecticut State trying to get it back to single digits. They had a drought of nearly eight minutes. Outlaw for Tucker Blackwell to play it in for Army. Gets it into King. With four and change to go in this first half. Kick out three on target. Get back down and then right underneath the basket. The defender couldn't do anything but maybe foul and elect to just make him have to hit the layup. Two and change to go in this first half of action. Duhart out on the floor on the handle for Army. King to throw back to Grayson who's had the hot hand in the first half. And he sinks another. Nice find in the corner. Christian, five for Central Connecticut State. Yeah, and that's a very welcome sight for the Blue Devils. Army with another shot clock at 10. Caldwell doubled. Extra pass to Rucker. Left point three, bingo. Inside Peterson, the freshman from Indianapolis. Two frosh in this starting lineup for Army. King jump pass. Rucker puts it on the floor. Wanders into the lane and floats it in. And King rebounds. 
just phenomenal communication on the defensive side by Army. They know what everybody is doing on the course that they talk. Danielle Marshall played his college ball at UConn. It was the fourth pick of the 1994 NBA draft. Grayson has another. Wilson on the block. Slingshot to bouncer to the cutter. Reed finishes and one. Grayson. That's his sixth three. Really fill it up, and a lot of that does come back to Grayson's work. Six of eight. You have to really appreciate your shooters like that. Grayson, a heat check. Oh, my! And he'll knock it down. Newkirk on the handle for Central Connecticut State. Lobs and a finish from Wilson. Blue Devils on the move. Blue Devils, they're not showing any quick despite the scoreboard. And another turnover and points off turnovers as they're really trying to find any way to claw their way back into this game. Krishnan inspecting Rucker. Gives it up to Blackwell for a three. They lead by 23 with the ball in no hurry. Approaching the midway point of the second half. Blackwell, string music. There's still enough time for them maybe to catch some kind of fire and make this interesting. Outlaw wanted to jam it. Army by 22. Outlaw in traffic. Burrows to the basket. And Greg Outlaw having the second half. Grayson from the corner. Cash money. But so far, that's just been the thorn in Central Connecticut State's side. And it was a really good three-point game. I get that it's uh, you know, a big lead here for Army, but they, they do need to have somebody counting down very loudly so they can hear that the shot clock's going down and that doesn't happen. For Army, under a half minute to play, Grayson, the senior from Cincinnati, who has a game high 24 in the corner, Jagers three! Drive and kick, Newkirk's three off the mark, and Army could dribble out the clock. The Black Knights are 2-0 after a 79-57 win over Central Connecticut State. They won their opener by 61 against the D3 school, and they win their second outing by 22.